As a soldier myself, I fought for national security on the battlefield, and now as a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, I continue that fight every day. For two years, I have watched as President Biden has made mistake after mistake on the international stage, and he needs to be held accountable for that. Now, whether it was a hypocritical stance on pipelines abroad, well, he would not allow them here at home. Cutting off 25,000 jobs as it relates to the Exxon pipeline, 800,000 barrels a day of oil to the United States of America. You're willing to ask for money for the Development Finance Corporation, money from we the people in the United States of America to develop energy infrastructure overseas, reduce the regulatory environment for energy infrastructure to include fossil fuel usage overseas, but you'll cut it off here for Made in America from sea to shining sea, and you guys are absolutely wrong because of it. Or continuing to send your tax dollars to the war in Ukraine without any sort of plan. And while maybe we should have a discussion about accountability and transparency, I joined that discussion. It's not now. This can't be the direction of Congress. The, that argument is shoot first, ask questions later. Shoot first with the American taxpayer, billions of dollars, ask questions later. It's very akin to what happened in Afghanistan with the withdrawal. His policies are taking the country backwards. Rather than making the United States of America stronger and more secure, our adversaries know that we are weaker under Joe Biden and they are absolutely taking advantage of that. Look no further than Vladimir Putin who launched an illegal occupation of a sovereign nation, or as most of us would call that, a war. Or Xi Jinping, who still refuses to acknowledge China's role in the pandemic and continues to threaten Taiwan to this very minute. Or Hamas and Iran, who are determined to wipe Israel off the map. Since Joe Biden will not hold bad actors to account, Congress has to. This year, I've sponsored bills like the China Social Media Reciprocity Act and the Arms Export Delivery Solutions Act, as well as the Palestinian International Terrorism Support and Prevention Act. I've opposed bills that aren't responsible use of taxpayer funds, and I've voted against toothless legislation that fails to give the United States of America the tools that it needed to counter these very real threats. The United States of America needs to return to a policy of peace through strength, and that's what I'll be pushing for in the new Congress. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.